Hi, Aaron here again with the Raspberry Pi Lynx version 2 project and this section is just kind of finishing up some more touch-ups. I, I went ahead and upgraded the audio circuitry on this because I was having trouble with uh, my audio before. With the stock LM386 amplifiers, it still had a little bit of noise in the background and I really am hoping to have a really clean noise floor on this. I, I really hate noise. So I started wiring up the PAM audio module that I had, a PAM 8403, which are like a dollar. And uh, I, I started having all sorts of ground loop problems with that thing too. And I, I just did lots and lots of troubleshooting until I figured out what's going on here. But um, you can see I ripped all the original componentry off this board. And then I had to do a lot of kind of soldering things to bypass the original circuitry. What I ended up doing was the USB sound card here runs into these inputs and then it goes through the potentiometer and to the headphone jack. And what I had to do underneath is wire pins two and three of this potentiometer to this pad on the inductor pad and this pad here and then make also put a little ground jumper between the top two. And what that does is it just allows a straight signal path from here into this potentiometer and then to the headphone jack. So the headphone jack is just tied straight into this USB sound card. There's no amplification at all going on, which honestly for headphones is perfectly fine. And it's nice and clean audio. It sounds good. There's no issues with the with noise or anything. Um, for the speaker, what I ended up having to do was I wired up the PAM module and underneath on here, on the headphone jack, on one of these inner legs, I wired this blue wire, ran it to the right positive input. The right ground, actually, is a really thick wire that goes to the Raspberry Pi pin 39. I found that if I was grounding this to the same ground as the USB headset, it, it still wasn't the greatest. It seems to be the best grounded to the Pi, and I also found that this thinner gauge wire that I've been using um, wasn't cutting it. I was still getting some noise. So when I upgraded to like, I think this is like a 22 gauge wire, all the noise went away. So really super sensitive for, uh, for that. Then the speaker outputs are just, uh, negative and positive and they go to the bottom of here. They're soldered directly to this note. I had to take this jack out and I had to scrape around the negative pad on the top and bottom and, and remove the negative pad's connection to the ground plane on this board. If I didn't, then it'd be sharing common ground with all this, which would be bad because these amplifiers do not work that way. So I basically scraped, did continuity, made sure there's no continuity between the negative pin on here and anywhere else on this board, and then we were good to go. Speaking of power upgrades, I also did the same thing on the Raspberry Pi. Um, on the power boost, I ran these thicker gauge wires to those pads underneath. I, I found that I was getting the lightning bolt symbol a lot on my Raspberry Pi. And I was thinking, that doesn't make sense. The power boost should have enough power to power this Pi 2 and the screen. Um, as soon as I did that, problem went away. So again, just having really thick wires really helped. Um, I honestly didn't think that made sense because USB cables don't have that thick of ground cords inside of them but hey you know what if it works it works and there's no harm in having bigger wire but yeah that's that's the insides and you can see now that uh when i got the sound cranked up and there's just no hiss or hum or anything it just it sounds great all right well we'll have to finish this project up get those USB ports wired in, but at least we have all the main functionality working like it should.